wanna hate this, I'll never show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. The following is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shensuke Nakamura. A Royal Rumble winner, a man who's held multiple championships. A top elite level competitor all over the globe. And after all these years, a veteran who hasn't lost any of his edge. Shinsuke is battle tested and looks ready for more. Claims he has, quote, been reborn. Nicole, I think it's more than a claim. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. Here comes the Scottish Supernova. An accomplished superstar who has made his name in NXT and WWE. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds. Supernova 11, Noel. First ever two-time NXT Heritage Cup winner. Very prestigious. He's mastered the unique match format. Noam Dar and the Heritage Cup have become synonymous. Well, Dar certainly would like to think so. He thinks he owns it. No, Dar just doesn't want you touching it, Saxton. Throughout his career, Dar has burned bright like a supernova. And trust me, that's not just a metaphor. The bell is rung on this Extreme Rules match. Not the type of match for people with a weak constitution to participate in or to witness. Are you sure you're going to be all right for this one, Saxton? Uh, I'm okay for now. I'll avert my eyes when things get ugly. Shifts it back onto him. Ooh -hoo. Finds the answer for Nakamura. Ah, oh, the reversal by Shinsuke Nakamura. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Taking this to the floor. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. He's got a sledgehammer. Oh, man, this is not going to end well. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, man, adding more injury to injury with that hammer. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Corey, what kind of mental space do these superstars need to be in to win a false Count Anywhere match? Well, it sounds crazy, but they need to be as open-minded as possible. You have to be ready for this match to go in any and every possible direction. 
If you let yourself feel intimidated by the... And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Tap. Our bar broken. Looking for the arm. Looking for the arm. Grounded down. Fujiwara. Reverse counter. Nice knee. Answering back. Clearly waiting for that. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. He's got him scouted. Oh, wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing, man. That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. From behind. Outback suplex. And the king of strong style himself took a hard and impactful hit there. Yeah, Noam displaying a higher level of aggression. My goodness, the human skeleton shouldn't have to endure a smash like that. Oh, we are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. No! Oh! And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Cross on bars in. No, change of plans. And Noam is countered. He has truly gone to a different zone, you guys. Oh! oh! He's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller legs. Will this be enough? Not even a one count there. I think this ref might be a little slow on the count. Nakamura. And shoulders are down. Two, just after two. The end was in sight. Stops the kick. Oh, elbow to the knee. Achilles lock. Torture time. The king of strong style close to tapping. Nakamura now looking so tough now. Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Looking like John Henry swinging the hammer like that. Oh, man. Oh, Dar saves himself. Toss back into the ring. Fishing for something beneath the ring. A table. The WWE Universe is going wild. Nakamura hits the inverted power slam. Nakamura striking with all the power and intensity left in his bones. Oh, what impact. Just a continuous rush on Noam Dar here. All hail the king of strong style. From the... Nakamura finds his target. No way Dar's coming back from that. Makes a cover. He picks up a fall. Slips out of the way. Oh my God, that is gonna hurt. And Shinsuke may get the three count right here. This is it. No, he gets the shoulder up. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. They've got their opponent's arm dropping the knee for more. Will this be enough? Wards off the pin at two. He just won't give up. Big forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. First a knife edge chop and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Riding their opponent down to the ground. Fujiwara armbar apply. Reverse counter. Nice knee. Ow! 
As the arm bar stretch in. Just stretching out the arm. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. And come on, no, don't bring the trash can out. That's for cleaning. Well, Saxton, it's about to be used to clean house. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. He ends the area. Will that clinch things for Noam Dar? The cover! And he gets the fall late in the match. Oh! And landing with the double axe handle. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and it is mad in here. A ladder. Things are about to get high risk and very painful. Knock him. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. in the corner. Oh, jaw shattering. Nakamura gets the counter. Oh! Able to interrupt the attack. I think I know what's about to happen. With the penalty kick. The Scottish supernova looking more like a surgeon. Noam Dar is so tough by the Enziguri. Nakamura could be conquered. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner. Supernova 11. Noam Dar. Shinsuke Nakamura comes out of this one defeated. Nakamura is a man of many talents, but even he falls short sometimes. I'm sure he'll recalibrate and somehow come back even more dangerous. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. The following is a two out of three falls match. Introducing first from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. One of the longest reigning champions of the ruthless aggression era. A man whose personal wealth is matched only by his wealth of wrestling knowledge. One of the best brawlers in WWE history. Hey, Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight? Here comes one of the most powerful brawlers in WWE history. This is going to be good. And his partner from Warner Robins, Georgia, weighing in at 275 pounds, Farouk. From college football Hall of Famer to WWE Hall of Famer, his entire career has been based on dominance. One of the toughest men in all of sports entertainment. He'll drink you under the table or put you through it. What would you know about drinking anybody under a table? But he's been a champion at every level and in every company. Farouk is all action and all business tonight.
and at a combined weight of 350 pounds, the team of Bad Bunny and Pooh Malone. Take a look at this team, completely on the same page. Such incredible teamwork they've shown. I can't wait to see them compete. It's a two out of three falls matchup here where the first to achieve two falls will be our winner. Competing in this one, we see JBL and Farouk. And we'll see if they're prepared for tag team action as they go head to head with Bad Bunny and Post Malone. We're about to see a true test of one-upsmanship in this multi-fall match. Each superstar has the opportunity to really make a name for themselves. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. He thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Wait, 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 wait. And a kick out before the count even begins. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Ducking out of trouble. Looking wobbly in the corner. Tagging his partner in now. Face buster plants him. Competitors are usually focused on getting one fall, so how do they shift that mentality going into a two out of three match, Corey? It might be beneficial for them to think of it more in line with rounds than one match overall. Focusing on each fall as they occur will prevent the superstar from getting ahead of themselves. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. And what's he looking for here? He's got a sledgehammer, and you better believe his opponent's name. Cover. Shoulders are down. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Close call, but not enough yet. Drop toe hold. Oh, God. Oh. From the ground up. Seated suplex. Drop kick. Hurricane Rana. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. And a heck of a DD. He can do it here. Kick out at one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. <laughs> Gonna take some power to get them up here, and then broken arrow! Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. JBL able to avoid impact. <laughs> the elbow to escape the attack. Arm ringer for applied. Well, that came to an end with an abrupt punch. Oh, Bad Bunny has gained complete control. Heavy work being done to Farouk right now. Oh, right on point. Oof, man, what a hit. Puts an end to that. And a counter by Bad Bunny. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Abdominal stretch. 
It's locked in. How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? Oh, man, he has fired up now. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. JBL isn't being given any room to recover. And Bad Bunny cannot be stopped right now. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. And no dividends being paid out to JBL there. Uh-oh. And Bad Bunny caught by surprise. Now oh, this is gonna hurt. Dominator! Farouk has him on Dream Street. Is it enough? The cover! And he gets the fall early in the match. Looks like Bad Bunny got busted up on that one. He's returning fire. He just barely dodges. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And power with a sidewalk slam. Oh, and a step up in Zagari. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Caught him with a big shoulders down. Kick out. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Stiff headbutt. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Punch! What impact! Right in the kisser. And we just saw some serious offense. Dodges out of the way. Uh-oh. Thunder it. Does he get him here? Ah, oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here are your winners. The team of JBL and Faru. Impressive victory for the team, especially JBL, who really helped put this one away. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. The remembrance is no different than the sea. Never gaze upon its surface on a starless night. Waiting for someone? <laughs> then, how about a dance? My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. And tonight, I initiate our first engagement. A galaxy ranger, as mysterious as the rumors suggest. A blend of nobility and reticence. Yet, in this nocturnal hunt, the ranger is not the only one who hunts. At this distance, you're more enchanting than you seem. Without a doubt, she seeks the Watchmaker's legacy. In this game, everyone lies. But memories do not. Mm, just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? Everyone has a past and the past shapes the present. Some people hold on to memories, while others are haunted by them, unable to escape. That is 
why I took action. I want to know what she is. Many were drawn to this feast. The IPC, the Garden of Recollection, Fools, the Nameless, and the Annihilation Gang. They should have been present, but... Duke Inferno is dead. He and his children won't be attending. What have you done? Beautiful ranger. Excuse me. Are you asking me? My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while, and tonight is our final engagement. A galaxy ranger? No, I've made a grave mistake. Everyone has a past, but for some, their past is a silent abyss filled with those who drowned in it. Annihilation Gang. Annihilation Gang. Oh, those guys. Here comes an in-your-face superstar, Fallon Henley. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making her way to the ring from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. Fallon's been a huge disruptor in the women's division for the simple fact that she won't be intimidated. There's nothing mysterious about Fallon Henley. Tons of attitude, and she comes at you full force. One of Fallon's favorite hobbies is to call people out. It's going to get rough around here. Zia Lee is not here to make friends. She is here to compete. One of a kind in this division is a vicious, dangerous martial artist and master of wushu. She is more than ready to be the master of the squared circle. And from Chongqing, China, Zaya Li. The mysterious protector has arrived. I have to wonder, Cole, is Zaya truly a protector or are there evil intentions as well?
In her eyes, a look of complete focus and determination. Zia Lee is ready for action. Here we go, guys. The two out of three falls match. The stamina of these competitors is about to be seriously tested. You can say that again, Cole. Winning this thing isn't going to be easy at all. Because usually by the time you score the first fall, you're already starting to run out of gas. The finish line is a long way off right now. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Kick to the back. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. This is the only time anyone gets excited about garbage when a steel trash can gets involved with a fight. Big elbow. Oh, oh man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. In full control here, face first. The advantage is turned towards Zia Lee. This can't be how Fallon envisioned tonight going. Exploder! Fallon Henley couldn't find a way out of that maneuver. Zia looking to push the advantage after that. And she had Zia's number there. Momentum isn't completely out of her side just yet. But she still has to do more to get this fully in her favor. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Corey, what kind of mental space do these superstars need to be in to win a Falls Count Anywhere match? Well, it sounds crazy, but they need to be as open-minded as possible. You have to be ready for this match to go in any and every possible direction. If you let yourself feel intimidated by the places this match could go, your opponent is quickly going to pick up on that. Here's the cover. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Not yet. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. And here come the punches. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Effective arm drag. Drives a foot into the stump. Here we go. It's popping off. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Two titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Ooh. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Boom! Boom! Zaya gets her back. Close line. Good so, lord. So effective. Treating them like trash, adding insult to injury. Look at this. Zaya is holding in. Oh, what a fuck to the face! Zaya got it. Can she end it? The cover! Oh, she's still alive. How did that not end things for her? She's showing incredible resiliency. And now it's reload time. Time to find another moment to pull off that one more time. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. she's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. A ladder. Things are about to get high risk and very painful. Fallon Henley has lost any sense of command in this one. Zaya is firmly in the driver's seat. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. Wards off the pin at two. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. She's staying elusive. Oh my! Leaping roundhouse kick! And it can all be over for Henley. Cover! Now she scores the early fall. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. Ooh! Boom! A leg drop! She's in the ring now. To the outside. 
This could get wild. Henley keeping her opponent at bay. Oof! Uh-oh! Saw that coming. Let's go behind. Breaker. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. And here come the punches. Snap mail right. Surfboard stretch applied. Oh my goodness, critical point. Oh, what a reversal. Great move. She needs to get out of here in a hurry. Oh, flipping senton. That was nice. Cover. Two count. And now she comes up with a score late in the match. Toss back into the ring. Fed's press takes him down. And Zaya escapes danger. Ah, oh, vicious knee to the face. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Taken down to one knee. On the money. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. Cover. And a win here tonight. That'll change your career. Here is your winner. Fallon Henley. Zia Lee walking out of here tonight. Defeated. She fought like a warrior, but Zia Lee just couldn't get it done in the end. Here comes the lone wolf. The following is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Baron Corbin! Once again, Corbin has redefined himself. Free of nicknames and fancy outfits, here's to separating the men from the boys. You have to respect it. He's at the top of his game right now. Ready to take what's his. Baron Corbin is ready to go. And believe me, Corbin has zero concern about the wreckage and collateral damage. Here comes the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. And gentlemen, he is in his zone. And his opponent from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 205 pounds. The world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock! Even when Ken Shamrock walks to the ring, he's picturing how he's going to dismantle his opponent. When Shamrock loses his cool, people start losing their limbs. Squaring off against Ken Shamrock is a frightening scenario. Shamrock's an amazing combat athlete if he can stay under control.
The WWE Universe has witnessed some great two out of three falls matches over the years. We won't know until it's over, but my gut tells me we are going to see one for the ages. Well, I rarely trust your gut, especially after what you did in the bathroom earlier, but I'll make an exception tonight. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Oh, stop right to the hand. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. What's he open to find down there? He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Quickly to cover. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. Dragon suplex. And shoulders are down. He forces a break before the count of two. Staying in this one. Competitors are usually focused on getting one fall, so how do they shift that mentality going into a two out of three match, Corey? It might be beneficial for them to think of it more in line with rounds than one match overall. Focusing on each fall as they occur will prevent the superstar from getting ahead of themselves. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh my goodness. Oh, he retaliates. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. Give the bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. With the counter. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Shamrock. Uh-oh, forearm's gonna cut off the wind. Guillotine is a very, very difficult submission to escape, but he did it. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Ripped in the hard way. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. He's taking this to the floor now. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? All the way up and big Ooh. power bomb. Goes into the pin. Not even a one count there. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? yeah. Wow. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Landing a big hit with that hammer. Shamrock looking powerless to every attack. Shamrock getting carved and dissected. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. What are they going to do with that ladder? Oh, colliding with a barricade. Delivered into the barricade. Look at this, just unloading. Wow. Yeah, and Shamrock is leaking now. Ah, look at this. Ooh. So much damage inflicted. He. 
And Shamrock looking to make his opponent tap out. The ankle lock is cinched. In. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. And it must be garbage day because out comes the can. Oh, quick knee to the gut. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Smooth transition. Oh, Baron Corbin. Night, night. Boot to the face will free him. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Oh, no. Now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Ooh! Corbin Dodge is that one. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Ah, oh, kick right in the face. We might be close to the end. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. The night looks to be coming to an end for the Lone Wolf. Golly, that could do permanent damage. And Shamrock looking to make his opponent tap out. The ankle lock is cinched. In. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock! Baron Corbin was definitely not expecting to lose tonight. Corbin is no stranger to failure, but he can't feel good about this result.
こえている海が炎の声で Uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. The following contest is a two out of three falls match, making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds. Wesley! Many folks thought Wesley didn't have what it takes to become a single superstar. Well, he proved them wrong by winning the NXT North American title and holding it longer than anyone else in history. We've already seen Wes fly, and now we know the sky is the limit. We know from experience that Wesley has no problem taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wes Lee will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. A man, or perhaps creature, known as Uncle Howdy. Has arrived. The only thing we know about this mysterious figure is that he arrives with nothing but malicious intentions. Many have seen Uncle Howdy deliver messages on screen, but seeing him in person is completely different. Completely unnerving, you mean? There's no telling what happens next. Really no telling how much destruction Uncle Howdy plans to cause here. How much pain and anguish will be enough to satisfy him? If that's even what he's after, it's impossible to guess his true motives. Clearly he has some sort of agenda. We'll just have to wait and see. It's official. This two out of three falls match has now begun. And you'd be surprised just how quickly that first fall can happen. So don't expect a slow start in this one. A shockingly astute observation, Saxton. A quick roll up could get this thing off to a very interesting start. Wes gets the better there. Howdy escapes the attack. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Dodged right on cue. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Taking out the knee. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Now that'll do some serious damage. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Corey, a false count anywhere match can turn an entire arena upside down. How can a superstar put themselves in a position to win? A competitor must put themselves in a position of power, a position of control. Render your opponent immobile and continue the assault. It's all about making use of your surroundings. You can't take anything in the environment for granted.
He's about to become the chairman. What could West be looking for? Blast off. Dynamite He's feeling the effects of that last hit. West looked special right there. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Placing them into the corner. Wards off that offense from Wes. Sister Abigail. Good night. And into the count. There's two. And he powers out. This could be a tipping point in this match. Paying it right back with a reversal. Good night. What a stunner. Howdy with the counter. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Chair in hand, bad intentions in mind. God, I wonder what he's thinking about when he sets it up here. Oh, and the chair projected right to their face. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Dragon Sleeper applied. Tap out. Do it now. Valiant effort, but he finally had to submit. Able to give him the slip. Oh. Oh, red in there. Caught with that sharp elbow. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Power bomb into the post and onto the floor, too. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh, Ooh. man, leg drop arm breaker. Oh, double axe handle. Going for the home run. Boom. Pele kicking the button. Wes with a big time move. He scores a ball. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. And Wes is one. Uh-oh. Submission move. Fujiwara on ball. Can you imagine what he would do? Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. And Wes is countered. Oh, my Lord. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. I have... Uncle Howdy gets a huge win. Here is your winner, Uncle Howdy. It was a losing effort tonight from Wes Lee. I applaud Wes Lee for his fighting spirit, but this just wasn't his night. He just needs to dust himself off and focus on the next match.